Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love Our Life. My name is John and today I'm back at Universal Orlando. I was just here yesterday, but I had to come back because there is a rumor going around that we are getting a Halloween Horror Nights announcement today. Warning, unusual audio visual activity in your area. So if that's the case, I want to be here and be able to cover it for you guys first off. Also in CityWalk, there have been some updates to the Epic Universe construction going on over here for the preview center so I'm gonna show you guys that too because I was just here yesterday and now it's like everything is unleashed but anyway let's get inside the park so come on and join me starting our day off over here on Hollywood Boulevard gonna go down here to the five and dime See if there's any commotion, any merch that's been moved around or whatever, because you know if there's an announcement, that's where new shirts are gonna be. I know that I've been complaining about the heat an awful lot lately in the videos, but like I said, the humidity lately has been so bad. Like today, it's just so bad. I'm already sweating. Like I've just got into the park. I'm already sweating, so it's pretty bad. Um, okay, so we're over here on Hollywood Boulevard. About to look over here at the Five and Dime and see if there's anything going on. So nothing going on at the Five and Dime yet and no announcement yet. It is after 11 now. Usually the announcements go on around 11, 12, somewhere around there. So we're gonna go over here to Schwab's and just kind of chill and wait and see. Okay, bit of a change of plan. We just heard that the old Hollow's Eve boutique just opened over at Islands of Adventure. So we're gonna head over there and uh, we're probably just gonna wait for the announcement over there because usually they put merch in there too. So might as well. Let's head back over to Islands. We were just there yesterday. So anyway, I love Islands of Adventure, so that's fine by me. Before we head over to Islands of Adventure though, I just came over here to observe this view right here. Pretty nice view. You can actually see the construction walls over here on the other side, what they're doing, some pavement work over there. And of course the boats going by but my goodness it is so flipping hot today and um yeah already drained it's, it's just that hot so let's head over to islands which is over there back through this way so quick update over here at the hard rock you can see they're repainting it, it should be this kind of color right here but uh it's definitely a different color now so I don't know if they're gonna repaint the whole building like that or they're just stripping the paint and reapplying it I don't know yet but pretty cool update also Joey just told me that the band baby metal is coming here on what November 5th November 5th so we might be checking that out I don't know if you guys have never seen baby metal check them out it's pretty crazy it's a Japanese based band but pretty crazy stuff I've said it a million times how hot it is out here, so we're gonna just cut through the stores this way. Christmas shop is back here. All right, we have made it to the All Hallows Eve Monsters Hideaway. Let's go inside and check this thing out. Oh, wow. This is awesome. The bride greeting you as soon as you come in. That is nice. Look at that. Of course, we have some HHN merch in here as well. It's always to be expected. Look at this. This is so cool. Let's you guys in on the vibe of this place. Like it is pretty solid here. So we're entering into the next area. Universal Creative. Doing an amazing job. Look at this. Laguna Lounge. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. So cool. This is awesome. Little Laguna Lounge. Got the Invisible Man mixing up drinks. That is awesome. Doesn't get much cooler than that. I mean, look at this. And all the details over here as well. Look at 
That's so cool. Oh man, look at that back there. That is amazing. Oh, that is awesome. So cool. Oh no. Frankenstein's monster playing a ukulele. And the Wolfman playing drums. That is awesome. Look at that. That's so cool. Let me step back here. It's a little too close to in there, but look at this. That is so awesome. Such a good job at Universal. Oh, I just noticed we have the carriage over here too, again. Which is usually always in here, but this is awesome. All the different little tiki's in here. That is so cool. I feel like I'm gonna miss something because I always do. One of you guys always catch it later. But there's Laguna Lounge up here. That is really cool. Of course, we still have different sections in here, kind of like before, but a little different. 50% off of the coffee over there as well. Over here, too. Look at this guy. It's like Little Boo's cousin, maybe? I don't know. Just making it up, but this is pretty cool. All the different looks and vibes, but over here... It's the creature from the Black Lagoon chilling in this chair here. This is so cool. That is awesome. Man, and little tiki over here, or whatever you want to call them, tiki pole, tiki, what are these tikis? I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing stupid right now. Also, some little <laughs> creature from the Black Lagoon plushies over here. He's my favorite so far. Mm, here. A little more details here in front of the carriage. This is cool. Such a vibe, man. Absolutely love this. And another one over here on this side, too. These guys are... I just said the creature's my favorite, but these guys are my favorite, I think. It's just so cool. The blue light on top of it is amazing how it just illuminates. I just love the look of it, but... That's just me. I'm a sucker for stuff like this. I just realized that they have these shirts in here. I didn't even realize this. This is awesome. They have a Dracula. And then they have a Frankenstein. That is cool. These are $30 each. And then over here they have the Wolfman. Look at him. And then the Mummy over here. This one's kind of cool. I don't know about the orange, but I do like the image there. Okay, it is 11.47, still no announcement yet. We are going to try to just kind of chill here and wait until noon and see if something gets announced. If not, we might just have to do the announcement from home if it's later. A few minutes later. So as of right now, no announcement has been made. We're going to go ahead and go back home. So this is just supposed to be a short trip out here anyway. But we did get to see the new All Hallows Eve Boutique. And still got to show you guys something out at City Walk before we leave. So... Who knows? We might have an announcement between now and when I get back home. So when we left here yesterday, walls were up and now they are down. You can see the complete portal here. I don't think they're going to be adding anything else to it. They might, but the LED screen looks like they are finished. And the walls are completely down, like I said. Look at this. This is going to be our first idea of what it's going to be like to walk through the portals. This is so cool. And the portal itself seems a lot bigger than I imagine it would be in real life. So if this is about the size of where the portals are going to be at Epic Universe, this is crazy. I just... I cannot wait. This is an amazing thing here. The lights are on in there. I've seen people come in and out. They have curtains up so you can't see inside. But, uh... Pretty amazing. I think there's no doubt what this is now, for sure. Just imagine in about a year's time walking through a portal over at Epic Universe, through How to Train Your Dragon, through Super Nintendo. I mean, so amazing. This is going to be awesome. But there's also something over here on the side window I wanted to show you guys as well. Even from the side, you get a better look and a better scope of it. Just how big the portal is. So cool. 
But over here on the window is what I wanted to show you. Look at this in the window here. Epic universe, that is awesome. There are some curtains up over here too, where the lights are on. There's, Like I said, there's been a bunch of people in and out today, but look at that. Also, just the look and the vibe. It's a nice area to chill. Come in, here's the screens up here. I am so flipping excited. A few minutes later. So as I was leaving, they just made an announcement for HHN 33. A brand new house will be a quiet place. Warning, unusual audio visual activity in your house. They hear you. They hunt you. A quiet place. Only at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, where horror lives. That is right. A quiet place. This is going to cover film one and film two. Now, we've been talking about how fun would it be if you had to be quiet through the whole house. They actually said in their press release to try to stay quiet as you move through the house so that you don't basically end your life is basically what they said. I'm just paraphrasing. But could that be like something they try to implement? Like shh, be really quiet, you know, through this whole thing. So I think that's amazing. No new merch yet. I'm sure by the time I get home, it'll be here. And if it is, I'll put it right here for you guys to see. But I'm excited about it. I think it's an amazing idea. And I love A Quiet Place. I actually watched it last night because some rumors were speculating. So I wanted to see but it's just an amazing film. It's one of my like top three horror slash thriller films. So it's, it's awesome. I'm happy with it and I'm happy that we're getting it. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. I will see you next time.